All right, today I'm going to be testing my personal locator beacon uh, since I purchased it about two years ago. I have never tested it. It's good to test it to see if it actually works. Um, before you test it, you have to uh, register. These are the instructions of the testing. And these different lights will tell you exactly what's the conditions of the battery and if the uh, test went through to the satellite. First thing I want to do is take the antenna out. As you see here, this is the actual emergency button. You don't want to touch that button. This is the T, is for the test button. So it says you have to press it and you have to put the antenna up towards the satellite. Just press it for five seconds and now it's flashing the red light. So right now it looks like it's acquiring for satellite. Okay, that's it. Looks like it's finished. It's had a green light and a white flash. If you look here, had a green light and a white flash. If I would have had a green light and a red flash, that would have been negative. So I had a good test. A green light and a white flash. Right after all the red blinking lights, you'll get a long green light and then a white flash here. Once that's been done, um, that means that uh, the GPS has contacted with the satellite. In my case, I have not done it in two years, so it's good to test it because that's how you're going to test your battery. See if your battery works good. Like I said right here, this is the way that you'll be able to test your battery. If it fails, then you got to follow instructions how to uh, get a replacement for your battery. Alright, so there it is guys. So never press this unless you have a real emergency. Like I say, if it costs thirty to forty thousand dollars on rescue for a false a rescue, you're gonna have to pay that bill. Somebody has to pay it. So make sure when you press this, if you look at it, the signal here, like this little guy missing a leg, that's a real emergency, right? So that's what you want to do. You want to do it in a real emergency. This is the only communication for rescue and medical. So if you have all the ways of communicating, do not use this. So see, it will send the signal to the satellite and then it will send the signal back to uh, the rescue, search and rescue. Again, this is the test button right here. So you do five seconds and let it go and you'll see the red flashing light. Then followed by a long green light and a white flash. That means it has communicated with a satellite. So I have never tested it, like I said before. So it's good to test it. Now don't do the test too often, because if you do, you shorten the life of the battery, and then you're not gonna have enough battery for your, your rear emergency. So in my case, I'm gonna do this every couple of years, like every two years, I'm gonna do this test to make sure my battery is good and nothing is wrong. I haven't banged it up against anything and water has got inside the uh, personal locator beacon. Alright guys, uh, read the manual before you do this to make sure you're doing everything right. So this is the uh, website of the NOAA SARSAT beacon registration team. This is where you go register your personal locator beacon. And here there's instructions how to test it also. You may want to follow that, how to test your uh, personal locator beacon. And the phone number is there. If you have any questions, you can ask them. Like today, I had a question, so I gave him a call. So feel free to give him a call if you have any questions. It's very important to have it registered right, because if it's not registered right, you're not going to get that search and rescue when you really need it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And hope this helps to keeping your uh, personal locator beacon working properly.